we quickly have a look at figure 2.6 and we look at fluvial landforms. Now, immediately before I look at the questions, pay attention to what's been given to us. Now, first of all, they've given us a river. Okay. But there's key things that we need to pick up over here. They've mentioned in our figure a floodplain. Then they've mentioned A and B. Obviously, we need to go and identify it. We can see the sea, the ocean, and natural levees. Now, first of all, great task, what you need to pay, uh, pay attention, a couple of things. I'm going to tell you now, this is in the lower course of the river. How do I identify that the image that's been given to us, we can identify as the lower course of the river? First of all, most importantly, pay attention to the flow of the river. Okay. What does the river do? It starts to curve. Okay. And when a river starts to bend and curve like that, it's known as what? Meandering. I know it's in the lower course because we can see the river meanders. Another reason why, I'm just going to draw that, I've identified an oxbow lake. We have a floodplain visible. And last but not least, we have the mouth of the river. Okay, let me just draw this. So, I'm going to number this. First of all, we can see the river is meandering. First point. Secondly, I've identified a oxbow lake. Thirdly, we have a floodplain present. Lastly, the river is flowing into the sea, the ocean. So there's four reasons why I can identify the river is in the lower course. Okay. Now, interesting, just want to clean up over here. As you can see, they've given us A, B, and C. Now, obviously, A, first of all, you can identify the river flowing A, right? What can we say? That's a meander. Okay. Immediately, pay attention, B is situated on the outside bend where the river meanders. Okay. Now, vitally important, before I'm going to look at my question, we experience deposition as well as erosion and the bend where the river bends. Okay, so I'm just going to try and construct a very similar image like over here. Now first of all, let's call this area the outside bend A and the inside bend B. Now, keep in mind rivers flows fastest on the outside bends. Now, it's not like we can steer water, okay? We can't dictate where water needs to flow. The water flows fastest on the outside bends, greater velocity, so what's going to happen? Erosion or deposition. So we experience, on the outside bends, we experience erosion. The river flows much slower on the inside. Now, what basically happens, what's being eroded over here, right, are being deposited on the inside of the river bend. So the position takes place at B. And we can label, we also label A and B. A is known as the undercut slope. Okay. B is known as the slip Sorry. Slip of slope. So what we experience at B is the position. That's known as the slip of slope. Now, if I had to go and draw a transverse profile from A to B, this is what it would look like. There's A, there's the undercut slope. It's going to be steep and deep. 
and that's going to be B. Now at A, now just imagine that's the water. Okay, so A is known as the undercut slope and B, the slip off slope. As you can see, because of the velocity, it flows faster on the outside bends, the water. It bashes into the river walls, side walls. We experience erosion. And the river flows extremely slow on the inside bends, and we experience deposition. Okay. Now, if we look at the image, you can clearly see B is the undercut slope, it's on the outside bends, the river flows much faster, so we experience erosion over here. Now, if we look at the questions for 2.6.1, name the reveal feature A. Now definitely, I don't like this question very much because some of you can mention it's the meander, you can also mention it's the undercut slope. Why? Because it's on the outside bend. So that will also be correct if you mention that. So it can be the meander loop or it can be the undercut slope. Now 2.6.2, give a reason for the formation of feature A. Like I've explained to you on this diagram. The reason we experience the undercut slope is because the river moves faster on the outer back. I'm just going to write it there. Faster moving water. On the outer bank. Okay. Now, if you mentioned, for instance, explain why the undercut slope at B is steep. So we can mention over there, if you look at 2.6.3, simple reasons because there's undercutting taking place. As you can see, look how steep it is in this diagram over here. We can mention it, undercutting is taking place and eventually it will lead to the collapse of the outer bank. Now, if you have a look at question 2.6.4, feature C is a natural levee. Why is the fluvial landform commonly found in the lower course of the river? Now, a natural levee is basically a build-up next to our river, okay? It's a high-laying area. The reason why we experience levees is because of their position takes place. Now, if you have a look on our diagram, they've mentioned the floodplain. Now, this is the floodplain situated over here. So what does it mean, the floodplain? So this area that we see here stretches from the one bank to the other bank. When the river is in flood, especially during rainy season, the water levels increases. Okay, the river overflows its banks, right? But after the flood, after rainy season, it returns to its normal course. Now what happens in the lower course? We looked at this question a little bit earlier when we look at the longitudinal profile. In the upper course, we experience erosion, vertical erosion, okay? In the middle course, we experience lateral and vertical erosion. In the lower course, what do we experience? Only deposition. So the levees occurs because of deposition taking place. While the river is in flood, the water levels rises. But, now keep in mind, when flooding occurs, right, there's an increase of volume of water, velocity. So there's going to be more deposition taking place, creating these natural levees around your natural river. Okay because of the floods that's taking place, being experienced. So what can we write down there, right? Feature C is a natural levee. Why is the fluvial landform commonly found in the lower course of the river? 
and we can mention because flooding happens in the lower course Okay, and deposition takes place. Okay.